spectacular. Spooky. Spookier. Hold it together, nothing to be afraid of. This must be it! Gadzooks! I found it! This is it, gang. We made it. Groovy. The Great Pyramid. That's where we're headed. I promised my cousin Thelma would meet her at the entrance. Take a look at this picture she sent me. Wow, you two look a lot alike. She's a dinkly, all right. Like what is your cousin doing in Egypt? Yeah. She's an Egyptologist, Shaggy. She studies the ancient culture and artifacts of the Old and Middle Kingdoms. Huh? Why could you say that again, in English? What Velma means is, she solves mysteries about history. Like, why didn't she say so? Let's get down there, everybody. We've got promises to keep. And cheeseburgers to eat before we sleep. <laughs> There's the entrance. Let's get going. Mommy! Like, let's get out of here! Wait! We can't leave. My cousin Thelma is supposed to be in the pyramid. She's right. We have to find her. Plus, it looks like we've got a mystery to solve. Let's go. That pyramid is a house of mystery. Oh, yeah, and mummies. <laughs> Let's take it along. It could come in handy. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? I think we have one left. Let's move, gang. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved. Gang, we've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. <laughs> the Great Pyramid. Let's go take a look. This looks like the entrance to the pyramid. We should go in. My cousin Thelma might be in there. Yes, this is where she was supposed to meet us. <laughs> uh -oh. Like we're not going in there. Uh -oh. Like there is no way we're going in there. Would you do it for three Scooby Snacks? On third thought, there's nothing to be afraid of. Keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. Like 
we've seen this before. Come on, gang. We have some exploring to do. And a mystery to solve. Looks like we found the center of town, gang. Well, I'm lovely. Like maybe we can find some delicious kashari. We're looking for clues, Shaggy, not lunch. Huh? Like, can't we look for both? Let's check around. It looks like there's a lot to do here. Food! Food! <laughs> Glorious food! Like we've hit the jackpot! Do you have any cash on you, Scoob? <laughs> Help! Zoinks! Those screwy birds are messing up our meal! Uh -oh. <laughs> like we've gotta stop them! Scooby Doo to the rescue! Good gracious, my friends! This will be tricky! Move Scooby left and right with the mouse. Try and catch as much food as you can, but watch out for the birds. Well done! Very good. Grand! Look at all the beautiful rugs! Let's go! Hmm... There's no one here! Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. That looks like some sort of pizza restaurant. Like, did you say p -p 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 pizza? Pizza? Let's go! Jinkies, this place is deserted. Right, guys? Guys? Come on, clues first, then food. Oh! Napkin? Forget about napkins. I want some food. Well, I'll take it along. With you two around, it's bound to come in handy. Shh, shh, shh. 
Looks like a brain teaser. Yeah, consider my brain teased. See if you can find a nickel anywhere. Let's go. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Let's head back here. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Boy, that sure is a weird market thing. You mean bizarre. I'll say. Here we go. Like that big old sphinx sure is creepy. Like wow, that sure is a big groovy cat. Cat? Where? It's a sphinx. Half man, half lion. Scholars say it's the image of the ancient pharaoh Khafra. Like he must have had a hard time buying pants. Boy, that old sphinx sure is mysterious. Yeah, did you see the way it was smiling at me? Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved! Better keep looking. Welcome, my friends. I wish to offer you all the charms of ancient Egypt. May I interest you in a scepter or a magical hedgehog? Uh, no, thank you. Or perhaps uh, this Egyptian flute. Its tooth is uncommon. We're looking for our friend Thelma. Uh, who are you? I, my intrepid investigators, am Joseph. I am a purveyor of quality merchandise and quality information. We show up, a mystery shows up. Like, what are the odds? Flashlight? It sure is, Scoob. It's a flashlight shaped like a pyramid. Hey, can we borrow this, Joseph? We're always creeping around dark places. Of course, my friends. And please, visit me here as often as you like. Or come visit me in the bazaar, and I'll show you my wares. Ma el salam. That means goodbye. Jeepers! Where did he go? I have no idea. Better keep looking. Let's go. Let's head back to the pyramid. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Not yet. Not without three Scooby Snacks.
the pyramid we go! Oh boy! Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. This sure is a creepy corridor. Corn dogs? Sorry, Scoob. I don't see a corn dog stand anywhere. It's like a big stone house. Don't forget, it's also a tomb. This is where the pharaohs were buried. Let's check out some of these doors. Let's split up. Daphne and I'll go check out this room. Jeepers! Just look at this place! You said it, Daphne. I wonder what all these statues represent. I remember reading that they represent the important characters in the Pharaoh's life. Some are mythological figures, some are friends, and some are servants. What do you have there, Fred? It's a notebook. Like a journal. It belongs to Velma's cousin, the archaeological journal of Velma Dinkley. According to this, she was chasing the mummy too. Let's hold on to it. I bet Velma will want to see it. Boy, I sure hope Velma's all right. This looks like some sort of map. It looks like the map of an archaeological site. Look here, Daphne. This map might lead to something important. This could come in handy. If only we had some way to take it with us. It looks too heavy to move. back and rejoin the others. Let's split up. Velma, why don't you and Shaggy and Scooby go check out what's over there? Just look at all of the sarcophagi. Huh? That's what these ancient coffins are called. Are you sure? March 14th, afternoon. This pyramid is truly awe-inspiring. The ancient Egyptians really knew a lot about building. I've met a very nice merchant named Joseph. He's been showing me around the pyramid. The strange thing is, he keeps popping up and disappearing. It's all very mysterious and very exciting. March 18th, evening. I found the strangest artifact. It seems to be half of a scarab-shaped medallion. I've been looking everywhere for the other half, but can't find it. My new friends, Bob and Edna Turnbuckle, have promised to help me find it. We've been meeting every evening in the pizza parlor. For tourists, they sure seem to know a lot about archaeology. March 20th. I think I've uncovered a mystery. An art dealer named Helmut Pith has been helping me with my investigations. It seems that there may be a secret entrance to the Great Sphinx. I wonder what amazing discoveries could be inside. Helmut says it could make us both rich, but I don't care about that. I think whatever we find should go to a museum. March 21st. I am definitely on to something. The local boat captain told me that there's been digging going on across the river. He says he'll ferry me across if I let him help. The people here are so generous. I usually work alone, but now I have all these helpers tagging along. I never knew that people cared so much about archaeology. March 23rd. Tonight is definitely the night. I've found the secret entrance to the Sphinx and I'm going in. I'm waiting till tonight because a young woman has been hanging around all day. I've decided to keep my plans a secret. 
Plus my cousin Velma is coming to visit soon, maybe she can help. I have a bad feeling that one of my new friends might be up to no good. March 14th, Afternoon Like let's ditch these creepy mummies, Scoob! You bet! Let's move, gang! Let's keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. Are you sure? Creepy Cat! That's right, Scoob! We're going back to the Creepy Cat! It's called a Sphinx! Like that Sphinx is huge! There are Sphinxes all over Egypt! This is just the biggest one ever discovered! Like I wonder what's behind this crazy cat. Crazy mouse? <laughs> Look! These tracks lead right into the back of the Sphinx. The tracks just disappear into the wall. There must be an opening of some kind. Like I hope not. This Sphinx is creeping me out. What are you doing? Leave that alone. Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for a way inside. Inside the Sphinx? Yes. Look at those tracks. They disappear into solid rock. Great galaxies! You are right! Slippery saucers! Where are my manners? Greetings, fellow Earthlings. I'm Starry Skies, UFO investigator extraordinaire. And who are you? I'm Fred, and this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We're investigators, too. We solve mysteries. Well, cloak me in rings and call me Saturn. What brings you to the Sphinx? We're searching for the mummy. I've been searching for him too. Maybe I can help you. But first, I need you to help me. I'm having trouble with my mini computer. You need to put the objects in order, from tallest to shortest. Grab the objects with your mouse and drag them to the correct spot. When you're done, press the button. <coughs> Sorry, that's not it. Try again. Now I can help you find this alien mummy. What's all this talk about aliens? 
There isn't any such thing. Is there, Shaggy? No comment. I think these pyramids are full of aliens. And the mummy just might be one of them. Creeping comets, that reminds me. Here's something that might help you. I found it in the bazaar. Suspects and clues. A name tag from a tour group. Can't quite make out the name, though. A name tag from a tour group. Can't quite make out the name, though. Starry Skies, the UFO expert. Joseph, the merchant. A name tag from a tour group. Can't quite make out the name, though. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. I wonder what those symbols mean. They sure look old. I bet if we find something to explain the symbols, we can follow those tracks. Suspects and clues. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. This way goes inside the Sphinx. Let me at him. That's not it. Let's try again. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Let's have another look at the front of the Sphinx. Come on, gang. Let's keep moving. Good thinking, Fred. We've got a mystery to solve. There's nothing here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Sure. I love some lemonade. Me too. I didn't say lemonade. Sure. I love a ham sandwich. Like total deja vu. Let's head back to town. Perhaps the town has some clues for us. Yeah, clues! Let's go check out the pizza restaurant. Yeah, yeah! That's the best idea I've heard all day! This place is still deserted. And like I wanted to dance! like a brain teaser. Yeah, consider my brain teased. See if you can find a nickel anywhere. See if you can find a nickel anywhere. See if you can find a nickel anywhere. We show up, a mystery shows up. Like, what are the odds? Like, we're leaving, and I'm still hungry! Oh, I could go for a glass of a seer. Like, Gazunite. A seer means juice. This place is still deserted. And like I wanted to dance.
Like, we're leaving, and I'm still hungry! <laughs> Let's go! Hmm... There's no one here! Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. That's not it. Let's try again. Let's head back here. Yalla! That means let's go. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved! Let's go! Hmm... There's no one here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving! Let's go, guys. I'll bet there's a lot more of the pyramid to explore. Here we go! Into the pyramid! Where to, gang? Lunch! I'm with you, Scoob! Disappear! Come on, we gotta find her! Come on, boys, let's look over here. Mummies! This must be the king's chamber. It's got more mummies than a piano recital! <coughs> Jinkies, where did you come from? I often do, uh, research in the pyramid. I am an art historian. My name is Helmut Pith. Helmut Pith? From the University of East Prussia. What's that you're holding? Ah, this is an Ushabti from the Pharaoh's tomb. Very fine and very rare. They represent the Pharaoh's servants in the afterlife. Like, isn't the Pharaoh gonna be a little short-handed if you keep sticking his servants in your pocket? Say, who are you? And why do you ask so many questions? We're looking for our friend Daphne. She's disappeared. I'll help you find your friend, but first you must help me. I'm missing a green jade ushabti. You must find it for me. We'll do our best. Come on, gang. We better hurry. Well done, my new friends. You have proven yourself to be most intrepid explorers. Take this. I found it in the pyramid. It might be useful. Suspects and clues. A Topeka phone directory? I wonder if the mummy's from Kansas. A Topeka phone directory? I wonder if the mummy's from Kansas. Look at this ancient sarcophagus. There seems to be something missing. Something shaped like a woman. Like what a groovy coffin. I wonder what goes in this space. Jeez! <laughs> it's a staircase. Let's check it out. Like where did Helmet go? Yeah, Helmet! The noise must have scared him off. Come on guys, let's see what's down here. 
We should check out this gloomy secret passage. Ooh, great! A gloom with a view! Shaggy? Scooby? Daphne? Daphne? Zoinks! Look out! Help! Mommy! Mommy! This way! Stop! He's right behind us! There's no time for jewelry collecting, Scoob. Well, only half. You're right, old buddy. It's a medallion. It looks like half of a scarab. Am I ever glad to see you? It's Daphne! Where did you guys find her? Like, we didn't so much find her as... We bumped into each other. Where were you? That torch on the wall opened up the door to a secret passageway. This place must be full of secret passageways. That must be how the mummy gets around. Here we go again. Back to the land of the mummies. Mummies? I sure hope so. We've got to catch that mummy. Great! More coffins! <laughs> <laughs> I like it better in the hallway. Less mummies! Sorry, coffee guy! Come on, Fred. Let's check out the servant's chamber again. Maybe we've missed something. But we still need something to write with. But we still need something to write with. That goes back to the hallway. Let's go. Let's move, gang. Keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. Let's see if Joseph can give us any more clues. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Like total deja vu. Let's head back to town. Like with all these shops, surely we can get some Scooby Snacks somewhere. Yeah, Rex. Let's go. Welcome, my friends, to Joseph's Big Rug Emporium. Everything to put on your floor. What's the difference between a carpet and a rug? About $1.99 a yard. That's not it. Let's try again. That's not it. Let's try again. My friends, still sleuthing, I see. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. 
My rugs are such a mess. Rugs that look alike should be put together. Could you help me organize them? See how nice my rugs look. I could stand here and look at them all day. Oh, that's enough of that. Thank you. Here, my friends, a gift for you. A little something I found that might help you in your mission. Thanks, Joseph. Suspects and clues. Say, looks like some alien enthusiasts left behind their star chart. Say. Looks like some alien enthusiasts left behind their star chart. Helmet Pith, the art dealer! My rugs are in such disarray. Please, help me get them together. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Keep searching for clues, and the rewards you seek cannot be far behind. Let's head back here. Oh, I could go for a glass of a seer. Like Gazunite. A seer means juice. Maybe this couple would like to talk. Come on, clues first, then food. Oh! Yep, it's a scorcher. <laughs> the old songs remind me of happier times. Hmm, let's order a root beer. My treat. You look just like the young lady that was showing us around. You mean my cousin Thelma? You've seen her? Well, now, I believe that was her name, yes. She was supposed to meet us at the Sphinx yesterday, but never showed up. Darndest thing. She seems so sweet and all. We're from Kansas, you see. Yes, we're tourists. <laughs> like no kidding. And she was kind enough to show us some sights. Wonder where she wandered off to. So do we. It's our anniversary! 32 years just flew by, <laughs> I'll tell you what! And we can't remember the tune to the song we used to dance to! Trying to figure it out on these bottles. Can you give us a hand? I'll play the notes on these bottles. First one, then two, then more. See if you can match what I play. That's not it. Let's try again. Oh, 
Hooray! That's it! Thank you so much! Thank you ever so much! Such a pretty tune! Here, we want you to have this. Maybe it will help you find your cousin. Suspects and clues! A statuette! Someone around here loves these artifacts. He'll want this back. Bob and Edna Turnbuckle, the folks from Kansas. A statuette. Someone around here loves these artifacts. He'll want this back. Like, we're leaving, and I'm still hungry! Yalla! That means let's go! Like total deja vu! Let's go, gang! Like that sphinx is huge! There are sphinxes all over Egypt. This is just the biggest one ever discovered. Let's go! We're going back to the back! Like I can get behind that. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Like that thing sure makes weird rumbles. I like my tummy. Mine too, pal. Like I'm starving. Back to the boat. Fresh fish. That's right, Scoob. Back to the ocean blue, eh, Scoob? Ahoy! It's a river. Ahoy there! Did you hear something? Ahoy! Huh? Like, it's coming from the boat! Get me out of here! Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Pull me up, won't you? Click on a fish, and you can throw it into the barrel. When there's just enough fish in the barrel, the weight will pull me up. Keep at it, you'll get it soon enough. Well done! Keep at it, you'll get it soon enough. Well done! Keep at it, you'll get it soon enough. Keep at it, you'll get it soon enough. Well done! Well, thanks, my mateys. You've saved me from quite a scare. Some bandagey bandit pushed me down that hole. The m m mummy Hmm, it might have been at that. I'm glad you came along. You use those ropes like an old sea hand. I'm Ishmael Masthead. I ferry cargo boats across the Nile. What do you carry? Oh, this and that. What are you folks doing around these parts? We're searching for clues about the mummy. Well, that's scurvy, scum, eh? Seems there's been a lot of interest for that lately. I've seen some folks digging around the old ruins. I didn't like the looks of them, I'll warrant you. Whereabouts be the... Uh, where might we find these ruins? Jump in my skiff and I'll take you over to have a gander. Huh? He means get in the boat. Aye, it's a fine day for a sail. That'll be two pounds fifty. Why, thank you. I have lost a little weight. 
We do. He means pounds as in money. Here you go, sir. Well, I don't want you to leave empty-handed. Well, here's something that might help you with your clue finding. I found it down on the quayside. Suspects and clues. Hmm, a monogrammed luggage tag. Who's the tourist that's leaving clues for us? Bob and Edna Turnbuckle, the folks from K. Hmm, a monogrammed luggage tag. Who's the tourist that's leaving clues for us? Jeepers, just look at this place. It looks like there's a major archaeological dig going on here. Like I wonder what they're looking for. Whatever it is, something tells me it has something to do with this mystery. Like, what's this stuff? It's charcoal. And you can write with it. Let's take it along. Back on the boat, everybody! I'm sorry you didn't find what you were looking for. Like we're not empty-handed. Empty stomach. Don't worry. I have a feeling we'll be back. Crumbling cod, I forgot to give you your change. Here's some Egyptian coins. Those could be useful. Here you go, then. Come on, gang, let's keep moving. Great! Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Let's go, guys. I'll bet there's a lot more of the pyramid to explore. Come on, everybody. There must be clues inside. Where to, gang? Lunch! I'm with you, Scoob! Come on, Fred. Let's check out the servants' chamber again. Maybe we've missed something. We have the napkin and the charcoal, Fred. Let's use them to trace this map. It's working! And look! There's some writing coming through! The poinsettia stone! I bet this is a clue. It sure is! Now we can take a copy of the map with us. That goes back to the hallway. Let's go! Let's move, gang! Keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. Let's go! Perhaps the town has some clues for us. Yeah, clues! Oh, I could go for a glass of a seer. Like Gazunite! A seer means juice. I could go for a cold root beer. Pizza. pizza! Yes, and pizza. Hey, look! What can we win here? To stop the spinning lights, press the big button. Around and round and around she goes. Where she stops determines what prize you win. Just an old rock. 
Scooby Snacks. This is better than Scooby Snacks, guys. It's a piece of a scarab-shaped medallion. I'll bet it's a clue. I wonder how it got in here. Yep, it's a scorcher. I wish they had karaoke here. Nice to see you kids. Let's go! Welcome, my friends, to Joseph's Big Rug Emporium. Everything to put on your floor. What's the difference between a carpet and a rug? About $1.99 a yard. That's not it. Let's try again. Well, that's enough shopping for now. We can always come back after we solve this mystery. Yalla! That means let's go! Like we've seen this before! Let's go, gang! Like that Sphinx is huge! There are Sphinxes all over Egypt. This is just the biggest one ever discovered. Let's go! We're going back to the back! Like I can get behind that! Here we are, back at the back! And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Hmm, perhaps something else. Like, I don't know about that. Are you sure? Suspects and clues. Hmm, a statuette. Someone around here loves these artifacts. See. Looks like some alien enthusiasts left behind their star chart. A Topeka phone directory? A name tag from a tour group. Starry Skies, the UFO expert. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Back to the boat. Fresh fish. That's right, Scoob. We've got to get over to the ruins. Maybe Captain Masthead will give us a lift. Phew, it's warm today. Call me Ishmael. Call me tomorrow. Call me what you like, but don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> Hoping to do better this time? Like this time we know what we're after! The stone! The poinsettia stone! And this time we have a map! Let's have another look around. I hope Scooby's paws don't get tired. I just remembered, we have a map of this place. I wonder if it has something to do with the poinsettia stone. There's nothing here. 
I thought you knew what you were after this time. I thought so too. Me three. The poinsettia stone is there. We should go back. Looks familiar. Sure does, Scoob. We're back to where we started. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Like more of the creepy pyramid. Yeah, creepy. Where to, gang? Lunch! I'm with you, Scoob! Hmm, perhaps something else. Here we go again. Back to the land of the mummies. Mummies? I sure hope so. We've got to catch that mummy. Great! More coffins! <laughs> I like it better in the hallway. Less mummies. Sharp coffee guy. Come on, Fred. Let's check out the servants' chamber again. Maybe we've missed something. goes back to the hallway. Let's go. <laughs> Let's move, gang. Move, gang. Let's see if Joseph can give us any more clues. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Let's keep searching. There have to be some clues around here somewhere. <laughs> Let's get this mummy. Looks familiar. Sure does, Scoob. We're back to where we started. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved. Go guys, I'll bet there's a lot more of the pyramid to explore. Let's keep moving. Remember, 
things aren't always what they seem. Creepy cat! That's right, Scoob! We're going back to the creepy cat! It's called a sphinx. Like that sphinx is huge! There are sphinxes all over Egypt. This is just the biggest one ever discovered. Back to the boat. Fresh fish! That's right, Scoob! We've got to get over to the ruins. Maybe Captain Masthead will give us a lift. Call me Ishmael. Call me tomorrow. Call me what you like, but don't call me late for dinner. Time for a boat ride! Buffet? Buffet! I don't think it's that kind of boat. Hoping to do better this time? Like this time, we know what we're after. The stone! The poinsettia stone. And this time, we have a map. Let's have another look around. I hope Scooby's paws don't get tired. Try again. You'll get it. Try again. You'll get it. Okay, Scooby. Dig up by the rock wall. According to the map, the poinsettia stone must be there. Scooby dooby doo! Way to go, Scooby Doo! Let's get that stone out of here. Like, I don't know about that. Let's get this stone across to the other side. That's quite a lumper you're kipping across the river. And we're carrying a heavy stone, too. Yeah, heavy. Let's get this stone over to the Sphinx. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Let's go. We're going back to the back. Like I can get behind that. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Hey, look. These symbols are the same ones from the poinsettia stone. Let's press the symbols on the wall in the same order as they appear on the poinsettia stone. Try again. You'll get it. Try again. Try again. You'll get it. That's it. It looks like something's happening. Zoinks! Let's get out of here! Yeah. Wait! It's some sort of door! And it's opening! Like, I don't know about that! Uh -oh. Like, we're not going in there! Uh -oh. Like there is no way we're going in there. Would you do it for three Scooby Snacks? On third thought, there's nothing to be afraid of.
Come on, gang, let's keep moving. Great. Like total deja vu. It looks like we're heading back into town. Hungry. Like, could we eat this time? Hmm, a bazaar. Bazaar? Sort of the ancient version of a mall. It has shops of all different kinds. Good gracious, my friend. This will be tricky. Move Scooby left and right with the mouse. Try and catch as much food as you can. But watch out for the birds. Well done! Groovy! Very good! Grand! Great! Congratulations! Well done! Groovy! Very good! Grand! Great! Congratulations! Well done! Groovy! Very good! Grand! Yalla! That means let's go! This looks familiar! Sure does, Scoob! We're back to where we started! Creepy Cat! That's right, Scoob! We're going back to the Creepy Cat! It's called a Sphinx. Like that Sphinx is huge! There are Sphinxes all over Egypt. This is just the biggest one ever discovered. Let's go. We're going back to the back. Like I can get behind that. Let's take another look at that door. Jinkies, that might just be the answer. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Like Zoinks, it's not just creepy, it's dark and creepy. Well, creepy. This room is kind of small. There must be another room. Look for a door. This flashlight does the trick. In we go. Scooby Dooby Doo! Like, check out this groovy carving! It looks like the sun. And look here, there's a piece missing. There's a piece missing from this carving shaped like a scarab. Let's see if we can find it. Well, gang, we have the whole scarab medallion. Let's see if it fits. It couldn't hurt. Huh? What am I saying? Of course it could hurt. It fits perfectly. It's a door. The medallion was the key. It's my cousin. It's Thelma. Gad Sooks. Boy, am I glad to see you, Cousin Velma. I've been locked up here for ages. Locked up? But who did this to you? Oh, I never got a good look at who it was. They grabbed me from behind. But I've got my ideas. Let's keep searching, gang. We're sure to find some answers. <laughs> the mummy! <laughs> Who do you think the mummy is? Make your selection on the screen! Two 
was a suspect, and we'll find out if you're right. The turnbuckles! It was you all along! Huh? Well, I guess I was wrong about them. Hmm... I guess the turnbuckles learned about the treasure from Thelma, then cooked up a scheme to scare everyone away. That way they could make off with the treasure undisturbed. But this mummy came undone. They got careless. I would have had it all. Power, fame, fortune. Gosh darn it. I told you we were getting carried away, Edna. All this greed and avarice and whatnot. Looks like you'll be going back to Kansas without anything to show for your trip. Except shiny new handcuffs. You said it, Shaggy. And we would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, well, well. Looks like we found our mummy. That's right, officer. A couple of would-be thieves who couldn't get things wrapped up. Scooby-dooby-doo! Do you really have to leave so soon? We haven't had time to catch up. Oh, I'm sorry, Velma, but I've got more mysteries to investigate. And so do we. Like, where are you off to now? Addis Ababa. I've heard about a buried treasure there guarded by a zombie. Zombie? Y you run right along. Hey, we'll stay here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Shaggy. There are no such things as zombies. That's what I keep telling him. Goodbye, Thelma. Goodbye, Goodbye Thelma. Thelma. Hey, see you later. Good luck. Hey, ciao. See you later. So, gang, where to now? Paris? Athens? Istanbul? Somewhere with no mummies. Or roasts. But plenty of pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>